Mark Bergeron here with Schwing America, and today we are on the test lab looking at the S65SX app. So the 65 is a five section overhead roll and fold boom that has over 210 feet of vertical reach and over 197 feet of horizontal reach. The main section has 170 degrees of rotation and the tip section has 200 degrees of rotation. We have five inch S3000 pipeline on the boom and the deck. And we also have a special hydraulic dampening system that virtually eliminates boom bounce when you're pumping flat out. Now this is the SXF because it has the X style, SX style front outriggers, otherwise known as the banana outriggers. And then we have a fold out section on the end. So that is what the F stands for. And having that little fold out section allows us to have tighter spacing between axles one and two. Speaking of axles, there are several of them on this truck. So the first three axles are your steer axles. Then you have a pusher axle, two drive axles, and then two rear steer axles with the rear axle also being a drive axle. This is a Mac Terra Pro and we have 176 gallons of fuel tank capacity. As we move into the cab, we are gonna very carefully step up here. We have our SCC in cab controller that allows you to switch between pumping and driving modes, it shows your PTO hours, turn on your work lights from here, and this also allows you to raise or lower your booster axle. Standard on the 65 SXF is our 360 degree camera system. So that is the seven inch display here. And with just a flip of a switch, this is our 360 view, outrigger setup view, driver side blind spot view, passenger side blind spot view, and then your rear camera. Stepping down, in the front of the machine, we have our 225 gallon hydraulic tank, and that is built into the subframe. And another standard feature on the 65 is our onboard filtration system. So that gives you an extra three micron filter. And that is located up front here. Moving along, we have two frame mounted toolboxes. First toolbox contains the electronics for the SCC system. And we have a maintenance switch in case you need to bypass that. Also have another toolbox for storage. Below that, we have our driver side outrigger controls. So this handle controls your clip out. And then these handles extend and retract your front and rear outriggers and also lower and raise the outrigger feet. A couple of outrigger head storage racks. And then on the back of the machine, we have our work light socket, e stop. Another standard feature is our accumulator bypass valve. So flipping this handle will bypass our accumulator pump in the event of failure. Another standard feature is our red light, green light warning system. So you can see these LEDs on our taillights. So when the pump is off, or neutral, that is red. And when the pump is in forward, that is green. So that just kind of tells the ready mix driver the state of the hydraulic pump. 65 has our B-Rock valve. So you can pump just about anything with that valve. Easy to rebuild, easy to clean. It takes about half the water. And we have our 
water box drain valve, water box fill, water supply valve, and then our water tank drain valve. Three button panel, e-stop, agitator train change direction button, horn button, and then we've got a manual greasing station for the rock valve. Above that, we have our operator panel. So we have our accumulator pressure gauge, concrete pump pressure gauge. Here we have our 160 gallon plastic water tank. And you can add a tank heater to that. This truck is going to Texas, so it does not have that. Water tank level gauge, and there is your ramp change station. Also another feature on this machine is it, this is optional, is the high pressure washer. So that wand is located right at the back of your hopper. And that is your high pressure water pump. Another option this customer chose is our fall protection system. So those railings affixed to the rear fender here to provide protection when you're up on the deck. And we also mount some railings in front, up front. Climbing up on this machine, the 65 has the 2525H-6 pump kit. That outputs 213 cubic yards an hour at 22 strokes per minute, 1169 PSI of pressure on concrete. In front of that, we have our water drain shutoff valve so in the event of freezing temperatures, you can close that off so your water box drain line does not freeze. Again, this pump is going to Texas, so that should not be a problem. And again, with Schwing, we have open loop hydraulics, so you're gonna be nice and cool. Also, it's a slow stroking machine, so there's a lot less wear and a lot smoother. Also up on the deck, we have our hydraulic oil cooler and filter combination. Slowly stepping down the side of the machine. Get a look at the passenger side view. Again, two more outrigger pad holders. And then we have two more subframe mounted toolboxes. First one here contains your vector controller. Below that, we have our passenger side outrigger hand valves. And then in the next toolbox, we have some of our hydraulic valves. So this is your boom hand valve, concrete pump agitator hand valve, and your e-stop with stroke limiter. With all swing pumps, you can run them manually in the event of electrical power loss. And you would do that from these hand valves right here. Also on a high pressure filter, we have some T-fittings that are capped off. So in the event of a boom pump failure, you can hook up an auxiliary pump and you can lower your boom in the event of an emergency. And right next to the filter, you can see one of the cameras. And we have another camera on the rear outrigger. So there are six cameras total on this machine. So now we are going to step way back so we can get everything into frame. Again, this is the S65SXF. Five section overhead roll and fold boom, five inch pipeline. Boom dampening system. If you want to learn more, just go to schwing.com.